hello everyone now that we are done with you know setting up everything and we try to fetch the information for one movie now we're gonna make a list we're gonna run this particular process for the whole list of movies for that there are prerequisites so which we will be just completing over here first uh, requirement is to take the list of the movies right so this is the list of movies and after that we require so here we will be getting all this information right like audience count and all these things so what i'll do is i will just i will just you know uh, would require to create a list and in that keep on appending this right so that i will also do before that let me just check out if this is fetching the movie name or not okay so if you have not seen my previous video please check that out link is given in the video say uh, sorry description section right otherwise this would not make much sense to you okay so now that we are done with this so let's create all the required list which we would be needing over here so the list is first uh, first one is movies name movie movie names i'll just make it plural for h1 then this comes movie names after that it comes audience count audience counts i will just make it audience counts then audience scores here we have audience score so whatever i have all uh, the variable which i have already created i'm just making a plural of that you can keep the name whatever you want whatever best suits to you okay then it comes to tomato meter audience count tomato meter and then movie info okay so audience score is done then tomato meters and a blank list then it comes movie info movie infos i will just say infos and then this is done so once this is done okay let me just create this this will be a complete list of items which we require before we start with automation okay now once this is done what we need to do is subject is going to be like this only then search path will be created okay so everything will run in a loop but before that we let's just ensure that we are giving some time to load it okay and here we will just say three second and after that we will print that as well okay but before that let me just show it to you so here we have this entire list now what we need to do is we need to go through each of these item one by one and run this entire process on each of those item so we will just say for subject in movies movies list so this is our list okay now when we run this loop it will pick a movie name from this list one by one and it will repeat all these things in onto that one by one okay so i will just do the alignment of this thing just one tab and this should be aligned okay now after this i will just oops let me just remove this blank space like this okay so here it will create the search path once the search box search path is created search box will be set i don't think anything else we need to you know make correction out of it so what we can do is here movie name is created we will just say movie underscore names dot just one second let me be careful okay movie names dot append and in that we need to keep on appending all the item which we are fetching okay so this movie name we just fetch and we will be appending into it right and other than this these are the two work which we will be doing in extra right then it comes audience count then what i will do is audience counts dot append and i will just enclose this so here we are already fetching the text now the next thing here we will give time some time for it to start next all right and then when it goes over here it will again start searching the things and all those stuff okay so let's just give it some time over here here i just gave it three seconds so this is how i did it previously as well so if you just come over here and if you see here i'm just giving it 
now at the end i will also put a statement so that we will know till what point it is succeeded okay print subject and i will just say success full successful okay for what what all are the movies that we are done with fetching successfully all right so i guess we are done with uh, you know making the required changes to run it automatically what i'll do is i'll just close this and i will just run this and let's see what all are the errors that we are going to get so that's where it's going to take some time otherwise everything is all set right so let's just run this i just hope that there is no spelling error at least so it just opened up the page and now once the page is opened first item which it should search for is war movie look i'm not doing anything it's everything is happening automatic right so wherever it gives the error we just need to pinpoint that we just need to keep an eye on this red button which is hidden already now you see in the search box it just wrote war and then it is fetching that let's just see if it is taking more than one minute or what now it is on movie tab it should now click on war it is on war page and from here it should just do the search all right on this page it is just doing the scrapping of the data it is just scrapping the data right now you can see it is searching for super 30 the next movie so what i'll do is it has to fetch the data for six movies so till the time i'll just uh, i'm just thinking to pause the video okay because it will it, this is just the second movie and after this it should take some more time to fetch it for rest of the movies now next one is agni path it is searching for agni path let's just see on the movie list then it is clicking on first one so let's just go back to the script and see if that is completed yeah this is complete now the next thing which comes over here is like you can see here it is saying all successful okay what successful and everything is okay now next thing which we need to do is import pandas as pd and then here we're gonna say df equals to pd dot data frame data frame and inside that we're gonna just you know zip all these lists okay so i will just pause the video because copying the uh, list name doesn't make much sense. all right so i'm done with copying the variable names or list names all over here ne next thing which i need to do is i need to supply the you know call list of column names okay so for that first we need to do comma and then i need to say column here is the parameter that I need to supply and I need to just make a list of it so I'm just not doing much I'm just converting this okay and then over here I'll just do this all right so I guess this is done then I just need to execute this this is executed and I will export this just to make it look a little better I will just export this to Excel so that I could explain you the next step okay to excel and i will quickly copy the location from this script here i have already done this so like there is no rocket science in copying i mean writing the location so that's why i'm just doing this movie 2 this i will do movie 2 okay now when i export this it will simply be created over here and if i take you over here here is the movie 2 it will just open in a moment uh, don't worry about that that's not what we are looking for so this is something which we can remove by saying you know index equals to false and over here you see these all informations are copied right now in the next video what we will learn is how to make a separate column for each of these for zoner then for you know original language and all these things we will make uh, we will be working on cleaning this particular column so that that will be a data cleaning uh, kind of stuff right but if you are only interested in scrapping the data then here we are we are done with that okay but we will definitely work on this and we will try to clean this particular set of data until then happy learning wish you very all the best